Hey guys, I'm Demetri Jump and today we're reviewing the Nintendo 64 online system service. Now, this was released back in October of this year and released for the Nintendo Switch. And just like with the NES online system service and the SNES online system service, um, this, uh, the Nintendo 64 online service, kind of works in similarity to those two services in which um, you get to play a bunch of games from uh, the Nintendo 64 library, so games like Mario 64, uh, The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, uh, Goldeneye, and various other um, games that, was, that were released for the Nintendo 64, and I think, like with the NES and SNES services, I think it's a good way of having our newer Nintendo fans Play, getting to play old um, games on older consoles while playing on the newer consoles and I think it's nice to like play games that were, that were released back in like the 90s and yeah and I think with each of the game uh, with some of the games that are on them it kind of like brings back some memories because like I remember because like with, with like Ocarina of Time for example um, I remember playing it, playing the original back in, uh, I don't know, the early two, th I think the late 2000s, early, like, uh, somewhere around the 2010s maybe, um, when I was playing on my, uh, on, on the Nintendo 64 as well as the 3DS remake, uh, and, and it kind of goes with the, um, um, Majora's Mask as one as well, and, yeah, I think this is a nice service to use and stuff like that. And now I'm going to show you some gameplay and how it works. Now, as of recording this uh, video, um, the Nintendo 64 online system thing uh, has just recently been has just recently been released. And so far, with the with the lineup of games, I think it's not a bad start because you've got like you know Doctor Mario, um, Ocarina of Time, Mario Kart 64. Super Mario 64, Mario Tennis, Yoshi Story, Star Fox 64, and I'm not going to try to pronounce that, and win back. Covert Operations. So yeah, so, so far, not a bad lineup of Nintendo 64 games. And just like with every other um, online system, you can basically just pick and choose which game you want to play first. Um, you can also... Um, oh, uh basically like choose which, uh, basically customize how you how the, you want to see the lineup of games and then let's choose Ocarina of Time first so I've played a bit of, I'll, I'll play like a bit of this like and I think this is, I think there's a bit more texture to it I think, I could be wrong because like I was playing a bit of um, Ocarina of Time and I think there's a bit more Polish to the graphics, I think. Um, so, if you look at Link's character model, I think if you compare this, like the Nintendo 64 online system, part to the original Ocarina of Time um, on, the, on the Nintendo 64, I think this particular version is a bit more polished and a bit more HD. And, and if Nintendo did do this, that's quite impressive, and I quite I quite like that. So just like with the NES and the SNES um, online things, you can basically pause, and you can basically like create um, a suspended point. So let's say this one, game saved. So now I have a save save plot, and just like and the other two on online services you've got multiple save slots so you can basically just go back to a particular part in the game and just be like okay I want to go back to this particular point in the game and play back from there or something like that so yeah that's quite cool and and you can also and also I do like how each thing like operated in its own sort of way like and how like because like, like I'm playing right now playing on the um just the normal controller and it, I am getting quite used to playing the controls like 
um, on the on the uh, Switch controllers because the I think Nintendo have uh, have said that they were going to release um, a Nintendo 64 game um, uh, game controller wireless thing, which is quite nice. But I haven't got it yet in terms of, uh, in in uh, when this is being recorded. So yeah, uh, and then you can like back out, choose a different game. Let's say Mario Tennis, and then you you then yeah, I think I think that's quite cool because you can basically just see how each thing is being made and seeing them in HD. If this had been like being polished a bit in HD, which would be nice. What I what you think is if they have, they would. It's really nice. So and, and I think oh, I just. It's quite interesting, and I, and I think you know, new fans of Mario or, or like new new fans of Nintendo will get a nice experience of playing these old classics. Um, so like you know, Ocarina of Time, um, Mario Kart, Mario Tennis. Then eventually, when the new games release, um, Paper Mario, uh, Majora's Mask, F Zero, and a lot of the other games that um, will, will have been announced to be released to the um, Nintendo 64. So, but yeah, so that's quite cool and interesting. So you can play up to four players, one player, two players, and stuff, stuff like that. So that's been it for the gameplay. Now time to go back to the review. So when this service was released, um, there was a bit of controversy around how the pricing um, of it was, and I think it was about. 30 pounds, 30 English pounds, and I think 50 American dollars. I think, and a lot of people said, a lot of people kind of weren't happy about that. And I kind of see why because the original services were about 15 pounds, maybe 10 pounds, or something, or maybe, somewhere around 15 pounds. And I kind of see why, for some reason, uh, Nintendo just kind of jacked up the price for this service. And it's kind of understandable why people would be upset about this, and yeah, it's kind of kind of a weird decision on Nintendo's part. And as well as the Surface, they also released um, I don't know if it's released yet or not um, the Nintendo 64 controller, which is wireless. And I think again, this is a nice add-on to the Surface because now people will be able to who might have played. You know, uh, Mario 64, Mario, uh, uh, Mario Paper, Paper Mario, uh, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask will get to play um, on the old controller. And people who might have recently become fans of Mario, Zelda, the sort of thing, will get a chance to play um, on the new, on the on the old controller. And yeah, I think it's really cool and interesting, and just a, I think a really good good cool way to just to replay some old games. So that's been my review for the Nintendo 64 online system. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.